In this video, we are going to look at the elastic properties of a piece of rubber band. And we have it hanging, you can see there, and there's a little tiny pot at the end to take the load. Now, as you may know, all these videos have been done at home because I don't have access to a laboratory at the moment. Therefore, I've had to make do with what I can find. So, apart from looking at the elastic properties of rubber, I'm going to use this experiment as an example of what you can do with very limited apparatus, and then to look at how you present results from a very basic experiment. So, let's take some readings. Now, first of all, the unloaded reading to the best of my ability on the scale there is 26.3 centimeters actually. I'm now going to load some weights. Now these weights are actually old pennies and we'll put them in two at a time and um, that's made a very very slight difference because the band wasn't really straightened out properly and it's gone down just one tenth. So it's now 26.2, another two of them. And you'll notice that each time I put a, an extra load in, I'm supporting it, and that means that it's being applied gently. So 25 is the next reading, 25.0. The band is now straightening out, and the next two. These pennies are really very useful because they have a mass of almost exactly 10 grams, 24.0 there. So every two of these is an increase of 20 grams. Next one, it's gone down quite a lot now, 22.2. Next, another two, another 20 grams. Twenty point naught. Another two. Seventeen point nine. I think that I can be accurate here to about a millimeter. Two more. Fifteen point one. So it doesn't matter really very much whether these are exactly 10 grams or not. Another two. 13.0. Two more. 9.5 and the final two 6.3 right we've now got a set of results Let's just take all the pennies out, and there actually were 10 pairs. So we've actually got back after we've removed all the weights to 26.3, which indeed was where we started. And we'll just check the first reading only. And that reads 25.6. Oh, so it's gone down a bit there. But, uh, yes, it has. Right, that's the first part of the experiment. The next is going to be actually presenting the results in, in the appropriate manner.